up until now what we've been talking about is the E-naught cell and the naught means that we are at a set of standardized conditions. By that I mean 25 degrees C and a one molar concentration of, of our ionic species. Now what we want to look at is what if we are not at one molar for our ionic species. And to look at this we're going to be utilizing what's called the Nernst equation and this just uh, relates E naught cell to E cell when we are not at uh, standard conditions. So here I've given you a, a redox reaction and I've given you the concentrations of our two ionic species, Fe2 plus and uh, cadmium 2 plus. And overall I've given you the E naught cell. So E naught cell should be something that you can calculate. Um, most of the half reactions uh, for transition metals and uh, metals are something you can go and look up. But now this allows us to get away from the standardized conditions. One of the things that we want to um, look at here is you got to remember N is involved in this calculation. And we've talked about this before where N is the number of electrons transferred in our balanced reaction. So here we can see that N is equal to 2. Um, Fe, uh, iron is giving up 2 electrons to become Fe2+, plus, and cadmium is grabbing onto 2 electrons to become cadmium solid. The other thing that we need to do is find Q, and Q is still the same thing that we uh, calculated when we were looking at equilibrium expressions. So it is taking the equilibrium expression for a given reaction and plugging in the possible non-equilibrium values. So for this reaction, if we want to look at our equilibrium expression, it's products divided by reactants. But remember, the solids do not show up inside of there. So uh, iron solid and cadmium solid do not show up in our equilibrium expression. Products divided by reactants. So really, it's just the concentration of Fe2 plus divided by the concentration of cadmium 2 plus. Both of those numbers were given. So I say we're not at you know, our standard conditions, and so we find Q, and in this case, Q is equal to 100. N we know, so this volt is just a uh, unit placeholder, so we plug those numbers into our Nernst equation. So uh, we got that N is equal to 2, we got Q is equal to 100, and we get the E naught, I mean the E cell, is equal to um, negative 0 0.02 volts. So our original E naught cell was a positive num number, which means that it was favorable or um, spontaneous. But now by changing the concentrations, we have caused our E cell to become a negative number. And in doing that, our reaction has become non-spontaneous or not favorable.